Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the topic phototrophic bacteria. So basically, in the coming videos, we are going to talk about the nutrition types uh, that is followed in case of the kingdom Monera. So the first type of nutrition we are going to discuss is phototrophic bacteria. That is phototrophic nutrition. So what is basically or who are the phototrophic bacteria? So bacteria which can make their own food from photon that is light. So these are known as phototrophic bacteria. So these type of bacteria will have some photosynthetic pigments because of which they can prepare their own food. So what are the different types of pigments uh, that is present in these bacteria? They can be bacteriochlorophyll. Now these type of pigments called bacteriochlorophyll, they are mostly found in case of purple bacteria. Whereas the other type which is known as bacteriophyophytin, these type of pigments that is bacteriophyophytin, these are found in case of green bacteria. So these are the major two types of uh, pigments, photosynthetic pigments which are found in case of phototrophic bacteria. Now these pigments we are talking about, these are present in the thylakoids, correct? Now the process of phototrophic bacteria or the phototrophism, here it is a, an oxygenic photosynthesis. What do we mean by this? That means due to the process of photosynthesis, evolution of oxygen does not take place. That means when photosynthesis synthesis take place, then oxygen is not evolved as a process as a result of this process. So oxygen as we know in case of most plants is a byproduct for in the process of photosynthesis. But in case of these type of bacteria, it is anoxic. Hence, oxygen is actually not evolved due to photosynthesis. Now, do, uh, in this process, water is not used as a reducing agent. This is a common example where water is mostly used as a reducing agent in case of photosynthesis. But these type of bacteria actually use different hydrogen sources, which may be both organic or inorganic. So the different types of hydrogen sources, which are used by these type of bacteria, they uh, can come from like sodium thiosulfide, propyl alcohol, etc. Now, the, who, who are the hydrogen acceptors over here? So NAD+, that is nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide. So these are the molecules which are, act as the hydrogen acceptor. So they accept hydrogen. Now these bacteria, type of bacteria we are talking about, these are mostly found at the bottom areas of big lakes and ponds. Why? Because we know the oxygen concentration at the bottom of the lakes or ponds, it is very low. Hence, we find uh, these type of bacteria at the bottom areas. And in fact, at these areas, the sulfur content and other compounds are uh, found in a high amount. So because of uh, poor oxygen or less oxygen concentration, whereas the presence of high amount of sulfur compounds, so these uh, bacteria that is phototrophic bacteria are found in the bottoms of the lakes and ponds. So in this video, we have talked about the phototrophic bacteria or the phototrophic mode of nutrition in bacteria. And we saw that these bacteria are mostly found at the bottom of the lakes because of the concentration of oxygen at these areas are very less. So I hope you have understood and enjoyed this video. Thank you.